so in the previous class we have gone through uh, the implementation of a general diode as a voltage regulator circuit so in the first case uh, we have seen uh, like the case is where input voltage and the r value and also the rl value all these parameters are constant that means it is fixed it is not varying so with respect to that uh, we need to implement this general diode working as a voltage regulator uh, mode so in that uh, some steps we have gone through like step 1 step 2 and step 3 so the first step is we need to determine uh, like in what particular region the general diode is working okay so based on the voltage across this general diode we will be deciding in what particular mode it is working so our motive should be this general diode should be working only in breakdown region then only it will be represented in terms of a voltage regulator so first step is we need to determine the region of operation so once it is working in uh, breakdown region we will be replacing this general diode by a constant voltage source okay so based on the region of operation we will be substituting this equivalent circuit of general diode okay and once we have replaced this general diode by its equivalent uh, circuit based on the region of operation we will be solving for other variables so other variables will be like the voltage drop across this register the current flowing through this uh, register the current flowing through co complete circuit and even the current flowing through this uh, general diode so based on these uh, we can uh, solve the different uh, network parameters once uh, we know the uh, region of operation of the general diode okay so that was the simple case where we are having all the parameters like input voltage or resistance or limiting resistance that is there and load resistance all these parameters are constant <clears throat> so the next uh, we will see so if the second case is there so here we are having fixed input voltage so input voltage is fixed and we are having variable rl so rl that is load resistance this load resistance is varying okay so this is the circuit uh, where we have used this general diode as a voltage regulator mode okay so in that case if rl is varying so what is the meaning of varying the rl so once the rl is varying so with respect to that <coughs> So whatever current is flowing through this RL, that is I L, will also be varying because once this general diode is working in breakdown region, the voltage across this general diode will be VJ. So the same voltage will be, will be appearing across this register also, that is low resistance. So load resistance will be having a voltage that is VL, that will be equals to VJ if uh, this general diode is working as a in breakdown region so if vj is constant okay that means voltage across this load resistance is constant to vj then the varying parameter here is like once we are going to vary the resistance the il will be varying okay so once we say like the variable rl means there will be variable il also so as we are going to in, uh, increase or decrease the rl value the il value will also be changing okay so <clears throat> once this rl is varying so there will be a range of rl that means uh, rl minimum will value will be there and rl maximum value will be there okay so based on this rl minimum and maximum this is the range of rl value so this for this range of minimum and maximum value of RL, the general diode should be working in breakdown region. Okay, so our motive is 
whatever the variation in RL value is there, for that RL minimum and RL maximum range, the Jenner diode should be working in the breakdown region. Okay, that means the Jenner diode should be in on mode. Okay, so we need to find what will be the RL minimum value and what will be the RL maximum value. Okay, based on the condition like the Jenner diode should be on in that particular range of RL minimum and maximum. Okay, so in this circuit, if we are going to have RL minimum, suppose we uh, we replace this RL by uh, a smaller value. So if RL is smaller, then the voltage across this RL will be small. So if this RL voltage uh, voltage across this RL that is VL value is small, and that small value is less than the VZ value, then this Jenner diode will not be working in breakdown region. So based on that, the first step we need to follow is we need to check the region of working of this Jenner diode. So in that region, what we will be doing is we will be finding out the voltage across this uh, Jenner diode. Okay. So to find this voltage across this Jenner diode, and that voltage should be equals to or greater than Jenner diode voltage. That means this will be working in breakdown region only when the voltage across the Jenner diode, that is VL value, should be greater than or equals to G VZ. Okay, so we will be considering like at minimum value of RL, we are able to achieve the voltage across this Jenner diode equals to VZ. Okay, if this is the condition, at that time the load voltage or the Jenner diode voltage will be equals to so whatever load voltage we are going to find out. So suppose this is replaced by a battery. If it is working in a breakdown region at that time, whatever this VZ value will be there, that will be voltage across this. So this voltage will be given by by uh, voltage. Uh, you can say uh, this is like uh, uh, input voltage we have applied that is divided into RL and R value. Okay, so voltage divided by volt using voltage divided, we can find a like this VZ or VL value will be equals to RL divided by RL plus R multiplied by input voltage. Okay, so whatever input voltage we are applying, that will be divided between R and RL. So the voltage across this RL will be equals to this. So this condition is the condition when the Jenner diode is on okay so if this is the condition where Jenner diode is on okay so this will be the condition for rl minimum okay so this condition will be satisfying at rl equals to rl minimum so if this condition is satisfied at minimum value of rl then we need to find out that minimum value of RL. So, so from there, we can place RL equals to RL minimum. So from there, we can just find out the RL minimum. So this RL minimum will be given by like R divided by VI minus VZ multiplied by VZ. So this will be our minimum RL value, load value. That will be satisfying the condition like the Jenner diode is in on a region. Okay, so this will be the uh, value of RL minimum such that the Jenner diode will be considered as on mode or Jenner diode is going to work in breakdown region. Okay, so if the Jenner diode is going to work as uh, on mode in the breakdown region, once we have put the value of RL minimum is equals to this. Okay, so if it is working in breakdown region, we can replace. Now we can replace Jenner diode by its equivalent circuit that is constant voltage source that is uh, constant voltage source that is VZ. Okay, 
so now once we are able to replace it by a constant voltage source next we will find out the other parameters okay so this was the condition so this should be satisfying first and once this is satisfying once we know the rl minimum so with respect to that we can find out the minimum current flowing through this or the maximum current so if rl is minimum so current will be given like i equals to whatever voltage divided by resistance okay so if rl is minimum the current flowing will be the maximum so from there uh, il maximum will be equals to the voltage across this load resistance that is vl divided by rl minimum or it will be vl that is voltage across this load resistance is equals to vz itself so it will be vz divided by rl minimum so once we know the rl minimum we can find the find out the il maximum so maximum current that can be flowing through this okay so once we know the rl minimum and rl uh, il maximum we also need to know what should be the maximum uh, value of load resistance okay so to find out the maximum uh, value of load resistance we need to use the concept of the maximum current that can flow through the jener diode okay so here some points we can uh, note it like so once we have the il maximum so the by using kcl uh, we know like uh, the current flowing through uh, the circuit is total current is ir that is total current flowing through uh, the circuit is equals to ij plus il okay so this is the condition by the kcl so once this il maximum we know but ir will be constant so once we know the ir we can find out the ij minimum as we know the il maximum the minimum current that can flow through the jener diode will be ij minimum from there we can find out the ij minimum that is ir minus uh, il maximum okay also the voltage across resistance r will be a constant why because because this is the circuit we know like the voltage across this resistance is vz that is a constant once uh, the generator is working in uh, breakdown region and the input voltage is constant so whatever voltage will be there across here will be the vi minus vz that will be a constant okay so the voltage across this r will be constant so vr will be given like v input minus vz or vi minus vl this is the voltage across this so once the voltage across this is uh, constant then we can find the current that is ir so ir will be given by like vr divided by r this ir will also be a constant or we can say like it will be a fixed value okay so once it is fixed so with these two relations we can get like ij will be given like ir minus il okay so once this il is il maximum we have find it out so from there we can get the value of ij minimum is equals to ir that is constant minus il maximum this is uh, the same from here okay so from there we can get the minimum value of current flowing through this uh, zener diode okay similarly so 
the concept like when zener diode is in breakdown region it will be having a constant voltage across it that is vz but the current will be decided based on the input voltage the current will be decided based on the input voltage okay so that current will be having a range from minimum to maximum so the minimum current we can obtain once we know the minimum uh, uh, maximum current uh, flowing through the resistance branch the uh, load resistance branch okay so from there we can get the minimum uh, current flowing through the zener diode similarly the maximum current that can flow is given by like the maximum current allowed through zener diode is ijm so ijm is the maximum current that can flow it is the rate it is given as the rate rating of a zener diode so once a zener diode is uh, defined this zener diode like its data set is given like what is the vz what is the ij maximum and what is the power so this these are the uh, specifications given for a zener diode okay so once we have a zener diode these values will be constant fixed so ij is also like a fixed value so that like ij maximum what is maximum current that can flow through this zener diode it is fixed so based on the ij maximum for a given zener uh, diode we can get like by the equation of current so ir is equals to ij plus il so once we go with ij maximum if this is maximum this il will be minimum so that it is constant okay so once we we are going to put the ij maximum value we can get the il that will be the il minimum so il minimum we can get is ir minus ij maximum okay so from there we can get the il minimum so once we get the il minimum we can get the i i uh, rl maximum so therefore the rl maximum value will be given by like vl divided by il minimum because if current is minimum the resistance will be maximum so rl maximum will be equals to vl divided by il or vz divided by il minimum so as we have taken the condition like the load resistance is going to vary so once this load resistance is going to vary it will be having a minimum and maximum value so our motive was once the zener diode is working in breakdown region what will be the value of rl minimum and what will be the value of rl maximum so based on that we have find it out the rl maximum and minimum so that we can design the voltage regulator circuit now okay so because we have find it out the expression for rl minimum and rl maximum okay so we can just conclude like in case of uh zener diode where uh, this maximum or minimum load resistance is there that means load resistance is going to vary in that case there will be a range of load resistance if we are going to plot if we are going to plot uh, the rl with respect to the vl okay and also we are going to plot il with respect to vl that means rl we are going to plot with respect to vl that means voltage load uh, load voltage basically so there will be this rl value there will be the minimum rl value and a maximum rl value in this range only the output that we will be getting is equals to vz okay so our motive is we need to tune this load resistance between rl minimum and rl maximum so that the voltage across this load uh, resistance should be vz okay so this we can just tune so rl minimum and rl maximum should be such that there will be a range of rl minimum and rl maximum so that we will be getting a voltage across this load resistance that will be equals to vz so this vz will be sufficient enough to make zener diode in 
breakdown region. Similarly, in case of a current, so there will be a minimum and a maximum current. So IL once this RL is varying, so with respect to that RL is going to make IL going to vary between IL and minimum and RL uh, IL maximum. So for that we will be getting a voltage across uh, the load resistance that will be VZ. So this we need to find out. So in case of RL is going to vary, we need to find out the RL minimum and maximum also the IL minimum and maximum. So this is the case when V input is fixed and RL is going to vary. OK, similarly, we will see the next case. So in the first case, we have seen both or all the parameters are constant at the time how we will be doing the analysis. Next is we are having load resistance uh, varying and input voltage is constant. Similarly, the case third case is there. So in the third case, what we are going to do is we are having fixed RL and variable input voltage. So we are having fixed RL load resistance is fixed, but the input voltage is varying. Okay. So for this condition, how this analysis of voltage regulator circuit can be done, we will see that. So basically, once uh, the RL is fixed, the input voltage that we are going to apply across the uh, circuit is basically uh, we are having this is uh, the basic circuit of a voltage regulator circuit that is RL V output or VL we can say and this will be the VZ once it is going to uh, be in on mode and this is the Input where input voltage. This is a varying. OK. So the current here is. IR current. This IR current is going to divide into IZ and. I -L. so this is the basic circuit. OK, so here what we are doing is we are, we are considering like the RL is fixed. So if. RL is fixed. We should be applying we should be applying sufficient V input. Okay, so we should be applying sufficient V input such that we should be applying uh, sufficient V uh, input such that or the input voltage such that the Jenner diode is in on mode. So as the load resistance is constant and we are having variable input voltage, so we need to apply this input voltage a minimum or a sufficient input voltage that should be able to turn on the Jenner diode. OK, so if the Jenner diode is turned on, at that time, the voltage across the load resistance that is VL should be equal to because we, these two voltages are uh, uh, components are parallel. So voltage across this will be constant or voltage across this will be same. So or whatever voltage across this load resistance will be there. The same voltage be, will be across the general diode also. And if it is on at that time that is given by like RL divided by RL plus R into V input. So this is the condition. OK, and this condition should be satisfied for given V input and that given V input should be the minimum. V input. So here as the V input is variable, it will be varying between V input. Minimum to V input. Maximum, so V input minimum should be that minimum input voltage that is sufficient to turn on this general diode. That means the voltage across this general diode is equals to the VZ value so that that we have done already. So whatever the voltage across the general diode will be there. That will be the voltage across this load resistance. So 
so load resistance voltage should be equal to generator diode voltage and that will be given by rl divided by rl plus r into vi so the only varying parameter is v input so we should be applying the minimum v input that can make this combination that can make this combination equals to vz okay so this condition should be satisfied, satisfied so from there we can get like the minimum input voltage should be equals to by equating uh, by considering the v input here that will be the minimum v input that will be equals to like rl plus r divided by rl into vz okay so the minimum input voltage should be equals to this value okay so as input voltage is varying the input voltage will be between v input minimum and maximum so for this minimum and maximum input voltage the general diode should be in on mode so we are just going to consider that only like what should be that minimum value of input voltage so that the general diode is in on mode or what will be the maximum value of general diode or maximum value of input voltage so that in that case also the general diode is on mode so as we are going to increase the v input so this is the minimum input voltage that should be uh, turning on the general diode but the maximum gen uh, input voltage will be decided by what the maximum power general diode can withstand because there is a limit on what maximum voltage we can apply across the general diode okay so that will be de decided by the pz maximum so so pz maximum is given by like the voltage across the general diode is always a vz but the maximum current that can flow through this general diode is I ij maximum so this is the pz maximum that means so we should be applying v input such that the maximum current that can flow through general diode is ij max maximum current this is maximum current through general diode so this is the allowable maximum current that can flow through the general diode so based on that we need to find the v input maximum so v input maximum will be decided by this condition so whatever pz is there the maximum power through this should always be less than the pz maximum maximum power which a general diode can withstand we need to apply the smaller power or power dispersion through general diode should be less than the maximum power it can withstand okay so that will be decided by the ij maximum so we need to pass current through this general diode less than the maximum current okay so our based on uh, this maximum current condition of uh, general diode we will be deciding the maximum input voltage that we can apply okay so the maximum input voltage so here we can write like the maximum input voltage that is vi max will be uh, we can write like it, it will be limited by the it will be limited by the maximum uh general diode current that is ij maximum okay so we know like since ij maximum will be given by ir minus il okay so by using the K kcl we can uh, get like the ij maximum will be equal to ir minus il okay so then we can write like once this ij maximum we are going to apply then the maximum uh, current uh, we can uh, consider from here is like if ij maximum is there then the current flowing through this ir will be the maximum current 
so based on the input voltage the current across the register that is r will be varying okay so once we are going to have ij maximum with respect to that the current this ir current will be the maximum current so from there ir maximum will be equals to uh, ij maximum plus il okay we can uh, see from here so from there once the maximum current that can flow through generator diode is ij maximum so the maximum current with respect to that will be the current maximum current in the resistance value okay so since uh, load resistance is constant okay so in case of il as rl is fixed the il will also be fixed because il is given by like vj divided by rl or vl divided by rl as rl is fixed il will also be fixed so if il is fixed if we are going to vary the ij then if ij is minimum ir will be minimum if ij is maximum ir will be maximum okay so if it is minimum this will be minimum okay if it is maximum it will be the ir will also be maximum so in that case if we are going to consider the maximum value so ir value will be maximum okay so once the ir value is maximum okay so by using the kcl we have obtained this but by using kvl in the uh, voltage regulator circuit we can get like the input voltage will be equals to voltage across the resistor r plus voltage across the load resistance okay so load resistance is nothing but the general diode voltage that is a fixed value but we need to find out the maximum input voltage so maximum input voltage will be depending on the maximum vr voltage so that is voltage across the resistor and this will be depending on the maximum current flowing through this resistor so we can get like the vi maximum will be given by so vr will be replaced by ir maximum multiplied by r plus vl and this vl is nothing but the vz so we can just write i vi maximum will be given by like r multiplied by r ir maximum plus vz okay so this was the case when the variable input voltage is being used into the voltage regulator circuit okay so whatever term is varying we need to find the maximum and minimum value of that variable component that can satisfy the generator diode to be working in breakdown region or the generator diode should be working in on mode for that variable range of the parameter so here the parameter is input voltage so this is the maximum input voltage and the minimum input voltage we have already find out okay so this is how we will be deciding the maximum input range that can be a possible okay so the next case is there another case case 4 so in case 4 we will be considering like both input voltage and the rl is variable so here input voltage as well as the load resistance both are varying to the voltage regulator circuit in that case what will be the condition we will see that so here the circuit is this
so whatever input voltage we are applying this input voltage as well as the load resistance both are variables that means both can vary okay so we can just try it like it is a variable the so input voltage as well as the uh, load resistance both are varying the rating of the zener diode is vz or ij maximum okay so if both are varying means there will be a range of input voltage also that means v input will be having a range like v input minimum is there and v input maximum is there and this rl will also be having rl minimum and rl maximum okay so this will be the condition in case of the zener diode working as a voltage regulator circuit so rl is also varying and the input voltage is also varying so our main motive should be to turn on the zener diode okay so turn on zener diode means it we should be making sure like the zener diode is working in breakdown region so the first like we can write like our motive is to turn on the zener diode okay so we need to turn on the zener diode if uh, this zener diode is suppose if uh, this zener diode is just on if zener diode is just on that means the voltage across this zener diode will be equals to vz okay and the current flowing through this zener diode will be ij minimum okay so suppose uh, the worst case condition we can just see like if zener uh, diode is on just can just like the zener diode is just on okay then vz will be the voltage across zener diode okay and the ij will be equals to ij minimum so if the zener diode is just on the zener diode will be having the minimum current flowing through it okay so if zener diode is just on then the voltage across it will be vz and the current flowing through it that is ij will be equals to ij minimum okay so if this is the case then this can only be satisfied if ir that is the current flowing through the resistor or the total current of the circuit is equal to or greater than the ij ij minimum plus so whatever the minimum current is required to this uh, to make this generator turn on plus the maximum current flowing through this circuit or that is the maximum current flowing through the load resistance so il maximum so ir value should be that value that is either equals to ij minimum plus il maximum or greater than this value okay so from there we need to find out the ir minimum value so that minimum value will be turning on this uh, zener diode okay that means it can satisfy the condition of ij minimum plus il maximum okay so that ir value will be the minimum ir value so ir minimum should be equals to this or greater than this okay ij minimum plus il maximum so the minimum current that can flow through zener diode that should be turning on this zener diode that is ij minimum plus the maximum current that is that can flow through this will be satisfying the condition of ir okay suppose instead of here 
uh, we have taken so instead of here we have taken like ir is greater than or equal to ij minimum that is minimum current required to turn on this generator plus il minimum minimum current through this so once suppose this is minimum current through this is required at 10 ampere and here it is 2 ampere is required so if we are able to apply uh, greater than 12 ampere if we are ap applying 12 ampere that will be turning on this but this is the minimum current if the maximum current that can flow through this rl is suppose 15 ampere and in that case we will not be able to satisfy this condition okay so we need to take the worst case value of this uh, current that can flow through this load resistance so worst case value is the 15 ampere okay that is maximum current that can be flowing so this maximum plus this minimum should be the exhaustive i consider the uh, worst case minimum current required in case of ir flowing okay so total here is like now 2 ampere that means if we are applying 17 ampere then it will be sufficient so the ir value that is 17 ampere will be sufficient to turn on this general diode even if the current flowing through this load resistance is minimum or maximum so whatever current is flowing through this that will satisfy the general diode to be working in on mode always okay so this will be the worst case so you can say uh, ir value so that will be considering in case of life the il minimum is not going to uh, you can say uh, will not be going to justify the relation we need to justify by using the maximum current so il maximum we should be considering here so that's why here the il maximum we are going to consider so in that case whatever the minimum current flowing through this register will be satisfying these conditions ij max minimum plus il maximum so ir minimum ir minimum will be given by like v input minus vz divided by r should be greater than or equals to ij minimum plus il maximum so here vz because we are going to talk about ir minimum so minimum and maximum of ir will be decided by the v input itself so if we are talking about ir minimum so i uh, v i minimum should be considering so if v i minimum we are going to have and this v i minimum is going to make sure like we are having i r minimum that is current minimum current is there and that minimum current is current is sufficient to make this general diode turn on so this will be the condition or this will be the relation between the minimum and maximum value of uh, the input and the load resistance so once we know the maximum value of this load resistance so from there we can get the minimum value so i l maximum will be equals to v l r minimum so r minimum will be deciding the i l maximum or it is like v z divided by r l minimum so once we will be putting here we can get like v i minimum minus v z divided by r should be equals to or greater than i z minimum plus v z divided by r l minimum so this will be the condition for the generator to be in on mode okay so once we have found out the minimum condition now we need to find out the maximum condition also so to find out the maximum condition we will be again going to apply the same concept that is the maximum current that can withstand or that can flow through the generator diode so the maximum current so the, for the maximum condition for maximum condition uh, of v input and rl for maximum condition of v input and rl the maximum power is 
anticipated by genodiode should be pz maximum uh, that is given by like vz into ij maximum so that means the maximum current flowing through the genodiode is going to give the maximum value of vi and rl okay so from there we can say like ij maximum we are talking about plus il is there so this il at that time will be the minimum value and to make this condition satisfy the ir will be the maximum value and this maximum value should be less than or equals to this value because if ir maximum value is greater than this value then the maximum current flowing through this genodiode will be greater than the, this maximum value so that can damage the genodiode okay that's why we will, will be maximum up current that we can apply across this genodiode will be less than the sum of these two okay so from there we can get the condition of maximum input voltage and maximum load resistance okay so this current ir will be given by like vi maximum minus vz divided by r should be less than or equals to ij maximum plus il minimum so il minimum will be given by like vz divided by rl maximum okay so this is the analysis of uh, a genodiode in the case like both input voltage and the load resistance is going to vary at that time how uh, we will be able to analyze the circuit uh, that is the condition okay so this is all about uh, genodiode uh, that means genodiode and the genodiode as a voltage regulator circuit we can just summarize the complete uh, concept so the only uh, condition we need to check is we need to make sure the general diode is going to work in on mode okay so if the general diode is able to uh, work in on mode then we can just replace this general diode by its equivalent uh, representation as an equivalent uh, representation will be in case of uh, general diode is on mode is like it is behaving like a constant voltage source so once we will be able to uh, up generate out by constant voltage source our circuit analysis will be a simple one and with respect to the different condition of input voltage or load resistance is varying we need to consider what minimum current and what maximum current that can flow through the generate out okay so based on that we will be deciding the maximum and minimum value uh, condition in case of input voltage and load resistance